What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and more. Again, we're outside of Barcelona. I've got the Aragon countryside right behind me. We're just outside of Alcubierre. We're gonna do the George Orwell route. We're gonna check out a spot where he was during the Civil War, that Spanish Civil War in 1937. Orwell spent some weeks just right over here. And I thought it'd be really cool to do something that I hadn't done before, come over and check out the route Orwell, that George Orwell route, and see a little bit of his experience from what he wrote in that book, Homage to Catalonia. If you haven't read that, you've definitely got to check it out. So we're over here at the Orwell route. They offer guided visits on the weekends and everything, but they also have little plaques that'll help you do your own trip. So if you're ever out in the area, you should definitely come and check it out. But you can see right here a little bit of an introduction and a way to get around. So what we'll do is we'll follow that route, check out what Orwell saw, and kind of see a little bit of what he related with in terms of his, his stories in, in Homage to Catalunya. The Civil War took place from 1936 to 1939, and Orwell came over here and enlisted in the POUM, the Marxist Party, and he was sent out to the front from Barcelona. He was sent out over here into Aragon, into Huesca specifically, and he was sent to a different area, different fortification first, and after about three weeks, when they sent over some other English soldiers as well, they wanted to have them all together, and they sent him over to this spot. If you haven't read the book already, Homage to Catalonia, you definitely got to. It's one of the best books kind of written about that Civil War, giving you a little bit of a different point of view than what was being written at that time. But well, you can see, I think it's so cool, you can see this entire landscape back here. And where we are right now is Monegros, that's what it's called today, which would come from Montenegros, which means basically these black mountains. And when you're driving around, when you're coming over here, you can actually see uh, a lot of the mountains look black, but it's because you can see a little bit closer right here. All of those trees that are around there give it that appearance of being those black mountains. Now, what's left today, what's made over here, different storage rooms. You would have had these different areas for the soldiers here. And if we get on the inside, we can see a little bit better. It gives us information of the front. Now remember, Barcelona didn't have a lot of that action going on, especially at the beginning of that civil war. And really even into May, there wasn't a lot going on, but that was more infighting in Barcelona. So all the front was hours outside of the city. And you can see Aragon and that front. Again, if you haven't read that book, it talks a lot about his experience. It talks a lot about uh, what he was going through and how much fighting and what the kind of conditions were in places like this. And it's in those first couple chapters where he outlines everything. You can also see just some pictures here, right? An idea of the homage to Catalonia. There's Orwell right there. And then you've got some other pictures. Orwell again. A lot of times there were a lot of people coming from outside of Spain that were fighting in these armies, a lot of international brigades that were coming over to fight fascism during those civil wars. And so you can see the idea, again, uh, Orwell right in there, and it says, El Gigantón, right? George Orwell was really, really tall. And if you read that book, you'll find out that that is really important for a little bit later because he spends months out here before going back over to Barcelona. But he goes back over to Barcelona because he actually gets injured out here. He gets shot in the neck. Uh, but it wasn't at this spot. It was going to be when he was moved a little bit closer to Huesca where that, where that took place. But you can see these parts that are left over uh, and really recreated to give you an idea of what's going on. Perdón. So we're going to get into some of kind of the trenches and see what that's all about. Yeah, right in there where they would have had the gunpowder and see these small, small rooms. Not much in here at all. Get a little bit of an idea. And like I said, in those first couple chapters, what you get is an idea of what Orwell went through. And he said, you know, very little sleep, really, really bad conditions all around here. Uh, just crawling with rats and 
and uh, not too much lice because it was it was cold during those first months, right? He was out here at the very beginning of 1937, so he was going to be over here specifically in the in 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 February. Um, but you can see kind of what they've recreated to give you an idea of it, and it's really cool to be able to walk through this. It's really cool to be able. We talk so much about history, especially on the channel, showing you guys different things that you can do. But it's cool to be able to walk through those same those same spots, those same areas. So you've got all the sacks they've put up here in the trenches. You've got lookout spots. And one of the things that Orwell's gonna talk about is kind of how bored he was, how much really there wasn't going on here. He, you know, kind of would do some lookouts and um, walk through and everything. But realistically, the front uh, from the enemies would have been, it would have been so far away that you couldn't really shoot out to anybody. So there wasn't any kind of combat. And a lot of times the, the combat that, that took place or any of the bullet holes or the bullets that came through, uh, those were really false shootings or celebrations from the uh, from the fascist troops. You can see, pardon. So you can see there's some other people around as well. Like I said, they do some tours out here, but a lot of people come out, and it's it's pretty popular. I called before I came over, and uh, all the tours were were sold out for this weekend. And lately, they've been selling out quite a bit. It's been uh, been pretty pro pretty popular. But you can see out to the roads here and we'll get up and we'll see a little bit idea of what all of this surroundings what it means you would have seen the republicans ar armies just right over there and a little bit further down you're going to get over closer to saragossa you can see what it's all like just get an idea throughout you can see even some more signs right here and this one's got some kind of like machine guns and everything but again a lot of times that those those enemies were so far away they really couldn't get close enough and so the, a lot of times they they would just shoot out but it was really maybe to scare some of the enemies if they were getting closer I remember there was one time in the book where Orwell was talking about one of his 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 fellow soldiers kind of got close to him and said oh, they could see somebody in the distance that he had to start shooting and Orwell couldn't really express himself and say he's not close enough to even shoot uh, but he kind of just shot some uh, some bullets out out there just to just to scare him a little bit. And they said by the time that he left this area, he had counted his his cartridges and he had only shot about three bullets. You can see out through to that to those enemy lines right there. Another spot as well. And this is not the only trench that's left over. There's actually just up the road, there's some more trenches. It's called Las Tres Huelgas. Uh, and there's some other around in these areas and some a couple miles away. I'm gonna come in over here and here we can see a little bit better into this idea of the lookout points. You've got kind of these different windows that are left over that look out to those roads again and even some more ideas you guys can see those pictures with the uh, with the gun set up even kind of the lookouts over here as well you can see these kind of cramped these cramped ideas of, of what they had to what they had to live and thinking that this was only just over 80 80 years ago another lookout point right here and you've got a small little room on the inside that if you kind of sit down in here gave you a little bit more of some shelter they say uh, protection from those bullets don't know about as much as bombs what Orwell writes about a lot is that maybe when the planes were flying over enemy planes maybe they didn't drop any bombs and he kind of uh, even jokingly says if they had looked down from the planes they probably would have realized we weren't real soldiers at all don't know if it was really worth it but what's kind of really cool right now if you guys can imagine this is one of the other things is is just the mud and the conditions right right now it's not a terrible day but you've got all of this mud that's going around here and Jor and, and Orwell talks about that as well the kind of the mud that was in here uh, that made it really difficult to get around and so instead of what we have right here this kind of 
easy ground to walk on. It's, it's kind of like an added bonus to be able to see a little bit more of those, of those conditions in there. And we've basically done an entire circle right now. Walked all the way through. You can see kind of another spot where they're talking about all those bags of sand. But we're back over, so you can see it's a pretty small area that they've recreated right here. But we've walked around the full circle within all of those, those trenches that they let you check out. And then we head up to the top little lookout point. And this is going to give you some better ideas of the surrounding areas just in general. Check out the barbed wire all around. Again, part of that recreation is putting everything over here. And then, just again, I'll show you that view down into the roads. And going out into that direction, we're going to get closer towards Saragossa. There's actually a picture just right over here that if you're standing in front of looking out into the roads, you can see in this direction would have been more of those Republican armies as well. But keep in mind that one of the reasons why Orwell was so bored out over here was because those fronts were so separated. They were so separated from those enemies that they really didn't have any uh, close hand-to-hand -hand combat or anything like that. Give you an idea of the plaque down here that gives you the positions of the Republicans right over here, which would have been just into those ridges across the way so those rifles those poor rifles that they had weren't really going to get over to them at all and then you've also got el pusero over there which is more in the in the direction that he would have been uh originally for those first for those first first three weeks but you can see out what's called alcubierre this main road here the town is actually back in that direction it's just a little bit further and like i said before there are other trenches as well or trenches that you can see. So you can see in just that short amount of time, we've already walked through basically the entirety of those trenches. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is something a little bit different. I would like to start exploring. As I said before, I've never been to this spot before. So coming to you with you guys for the first time is really exciting to see this whole idea of, you know, not only something a little bit new, but just something so historic that's, that's still very, very recent.